So you got Logic Pro X, you wanna get into recording, producing beats, composing music, voiceovers, all these different things, but you're not really sure how to utilize the software? Keep on watching this video. See, I work hard, but you work harder. This too easy, cause I work smarter. I wanna be the best to support my daughter. Got way too much ice, I'ma need less water. What's up everybody, Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment tutorial video. Hey, check this out. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to get more videos like this in the future. All right, so what it is guys, Chris Lee back with another video. What I'm gonna be doing today is talking to you guys about Logic Pro X and how to go ahead and get started. Now guys, I'm gonna be doing a series of videos on how to go ahead and start recording in the software. I don't wanna try to cover everything in one video because it's gonna take a long time and a lot of you guys honestly may not watch that. So I'm gonna be doing a playlist, a Logic playlist that's gonna actually show you guys how to go ahead and do a lot of things in the software such as recording vocals, producing beats, drag and dropping samples, automation, mixing, the whole nine yards, recording everything. I'm gonna try to show you guys how to do everything from the basics. Now realize this, a lot of these videos are gonna be set up for a lot of the beginners or people that are just getting into Logic. Maybe you're an expert, I'm certified in Logic, I have been for years. I've been using Logic for over a decade now. I can tell you right now, Guys, there are still some things that I'm continuously learning as I go. So you can't be a know-it-all and everything. You don't want to be a know-it-all. The best people in the world, the smartest people in the world are the people who are great students who want to learn, okay? With that being said, what I want to do in this process is just go ahead and show you how to quickly go ahead and set up your audio interface and your microphone. I'm going to assume that you guys already know how to hook up your condenser microphone with your XLR cable to your audio interface and it's already plugged in your computer, okay? If you don't know how to do that, then I'll do a video in the future. Just go look on YouTube for another video on how to set up your microphone and audio interface. But I'm going to show you guys how to do it inside of Logic right now. So let's just go ahead and jump into it, okay? So let's do it. If you don't know how to get to it, you just basically go to your finder, go to application, and it'll be this Logic Pro uh, option here. And all you gotta do is just double click it or just drag it down here so you have it on your dock, okay? All right, so what you wanna go ahead and do is once you open it up, it's gonna ask you to create a project. So you either wanna do new project, open up your recent, um, we're going to start off with the basics, okay? So we're going to open up a new project and you can either do an empty project, live loops. We're going to start with the empty project, okay? Down here, you can actually set up your tempo, uh, your key signature, whatever key it is, major, minor for the scales, anything like that. Uh, your time signature, if you need to change that, you, you can do that as well. And then right here is going to be super important. Whatever your audio interface is, that's what you wanna go ahead and utilize, okay? So in this particular case, we're gonna be utilizing the Apollo Twin, okay? That's gonna be for the input and the output. Now, the only reason why mine says loopback audio is because that's a third-party software that I'm utilizing to screen record this video, so you don't have to worry about that. But for you, whatever your audio interface is, that's the option that you wanna go with. So we're gonna go with the Apollo Twin, the Universal Audio Thunderbolt, and this one would say the same thing, okay? Your sample rate, It'd be good to start off with either 44, one or 48. It's really up to you. Film, music, whatever. If you know about all that stuff, you'll be good to go. For right now, we're just gonna keep it basic with 120 for our tempo, and then go ahead and keep our sample rate at 44, one, okay? So after you go ahead and hit choose, and you open it up, now it's gonna give you the option to choose which one or which type of track you actually wanna import. Do you wanna choose a software instrument? The good thing about Logic is Logic already comes with a lot of free VST or virtual instrument sounds inside of the software. So you don't have to worry about going out and buying any third party softwares or anything to start making some beats or producing or whatever the case may be. It comes with tons and tons of free samples, uh, instruments, pianos, bass guitars, sound loops, the whole nine yards, anything that you can possibly think of, it's gonna come within the software 
and it has a lot of drag and drop samples that you can just pretty much drag and drop and create a beat. If you don't really know how to play an uh, instrument yet or MIDI keyboard, a piano, a guitar, or bass guitar, any of that, you can just drag and drop samples and create something cool, okay? So in this particular case, you're gonna have the software instrument, you're gonna have the audio track, which you're gonna be utilizing to record with your microphone, whatever your microphone is, whether that's a condenser or a dynamic microphone, if you're utilizing an audio interface or whatever, you know, something like this. So if you have a microphone, then you just basically utilize this, plug it up with an XLR cable into your audio interface and plug your audio interface into your computer. Make sure that it's reading and you'll be good to go, okay? So to get it set up, before we get it set up, you have also drummer if you wanna utilize like some drummer sounds or whatever the case may be. External MIDI and guitar and bass if you have like your own external guitar or bass that you wanna plug into your audio interface and track inside of the software. But for right now, we are gonna focus strictly on recording and how to get your recording set up. So you can just click on audio and down here where it says audio input, you wanna to go to input one or input two, however many your, uh, however many inputs you have on your audio interface, that's the one that you wanna utilize. Whatever your microphone is plugged into, whether that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or however many, make sure that you choose that one, okay? In this particular case, it's input one for me, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. And then for your audio output, which is basically gonna be the stereo output of your audio interface, mine is set up to one and two. So that's what I'm gonna utilize, okay? Yours is likely gonna be set up as default as that as well, okay? Output one and two, boom. So that's already set up. What you wanna do in a particular case down here, if it says how, how many number of tracks, you can do one or you can do 10, okay? So we can just do one for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and click create. Boom, now it created my audio track, okay? Now, before you do anything else, I want you to go up to Logic Pro, and I want you to go to Preferences, and I want you to go down to Audio, okay? Now, when you go to Audio, even though we already did this, we just wanna make sure, so you click on the Audio tab, and you wanna make sure that you click your Input and your Output device, okay? Make sure that both of these say your audio interface, whatever your audio interface is, Apollo Twin, um, fast track ultra focus, right? It doesn't matter. Now, when you are about to record your vocals, what you want to do is go ahead and change your buffer size to either the lowest or 64. I recommend 64, but if yours, uh, can go with 32 or whatever, without any issues, then you'll be good. This is going to help you have low latency while you're recording. So if you have this number too high set to like 5, 12, 256, 10, 24, you're gonna hear a very annoying latency or delay in your vocals, and it's gonna be very frustrating when you're recording, so you definitely don't want that, okay? Now, granted, this software may have some issues with latency anyways, depending on your audio interface or your microphone, or if you're using a USB microphone or whatever the case may be, you're gonna run into some issues, but there are ways to fix that, and I'll talk about that in the future, okay? But for right now, 64 samples is gonna be totally fine in this particular case. You don't have to worry about the processing threads, the buffer size, <clears throat> buffer process, buffer range, you can leave that. Everything else, you can pretty much just leave that for right now, okay? And just go to the next tab and change whatever you wanna change. And basically, when you're ready, you can go back and hit apply and then apply those effects. Otherwise, you gotta reopen it again and then go to the next tab, hit apply again. Just do it all at once and then hit apply, okay? So after we do that, we're good to go on that. So now, so what you're looking at right here is your actual edit window, okay? Now, if you wanna bring up your mixer window, all you gotta do is hit the X button, okay? So if you hit the X button down here in your IO setup right here, it's gonna say N1, okay? N1, you just wanna choose input one. That's gonna be for your audio interface input. So once you turn on, if you have a condenser microphone, you wanna turn on a 48 plus V button or the 48 phantom power button, okay? On your audio interface to be able to get sound from your microphone to the audio interface. If you have a condenser microphone and you don't have that engaged, you will not hear sound. So I'm just letting you know right now, okay? So in this particular case, what I wanna do is since I'm using an audio interface and a preamp with my condenser microphone, I have to engage mine. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna turn on 48 Phantom Power, okay? Boom, 
Boom. So now I'm just gonna kind of cut this one down to the USB mic. <clears throat> and now you're gonna be able to hear me. Test one, test two. This is Chris Lee, AKA Tooney doing a logic video. This is Chris Lee, AKA Tooney doing a tutorial on logic, showing you guys how to set up your audio microphone for recording, okay? If you have it set up properly, you should hear my vocals, okay? So boom, we're good to go. You can hear my vocals and you can actually see the meter and the indicator letting you know. Now I have on input monitoring, that's what this eye is, okay? That's so I can hear myself while I'm recording. Now if I turn that off, you guys will still be able to hear me, but you're not gonna be able to hear any of the effects that I have on my vocals once I put them on there because I'm not monitoring the input of the actual software's effects. You are actually hearing my vocals go straight through the Universal Audio's um, uh, primary console software to go ahead and actually track my vocals, okay? That's what you're hearing right now. Test one, test two, Chris Lee doing a video. What's up, what's up? You can actually hear my vocals because I have that input monitoring. Now, if you want to go ahead and record, you just turn on this button, record enable. And as you can see, you can put the cursor over it and it'll let you know what it's actually doing or what that button does. Okay. I'm just going to hit the R button real quick. Hey, what's up? Chris Lee back with another video teaching you guys something in Logic Pro X. Hit that subscribe button. Okay. Hey, what's up? Chris Lee back with another video teaching you guys something in Logic Pro X. Hit that subscribe button. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to turn this one back up. Okay. All right, guys. So you were able to see that I was able to record my vocals with no issues. Everything was set up. You've seen it actually recording uh, inside of the software because you've seen a meter here actually showing you what the track was doing when I was recording my vocals, okay? Also, look for indicators on your audio interface because your audio interface is likely gonna tell you if you're getting signal from your microphone to your audio interface, then you should see levels or some type of levels on your meter lighting up, letting you know, hey, I'm getting signal. Now, if it's not recording inside of your DAW, either you don't have 48 Phantom Power On, which is only used for condenser microphones, um, or it's not cranked up enough, you need to turn it up uh, you know, your gain levels are turn the volume up on your mic input on your audio interface, or you either got a bad microphone, a bad cable, something's not plugged up right, or you don't have it set up in your software right, okay? That's usually the reasons why it's not working, okay? You can double click here and just like name your track. And you wanna do this before you record, okay? So like lead, vox, okay? So you're gonna have input, you're gonna have the R, for recording, for record enable, you have to have this lit up if you want to record something on that track. If you wanna hear yourself, you turn on the I for input monitoring, okay? So you can hear yourself. If you don't wanna hear yourself, just turn off the input monitoring, okay? And then you have S for solo and you have M for mute, okay? That's pretty much how you just go ahead and set up your vocals. Now, I want that's pretty much all you need to do to go ahead and set up your microphone to start recording inside of Logic. What I'm gonna be doing in the next video is showing you guys how you can go ahead and utilize some of the software instruments. So importing them, uh, creating some music with your software instruments, the free pianos, the whole nine yards, the guitars, the bass guitars, all the free sounds, drag and drop and samples. I'm gonna be showing you that in all these videos. So guys, I definitely recommend that you hit that subscribe button right now. But for right now, for you beginners inside of Logic, that's how you go ahead and set up your microphone inside of the software. And I can't wait to show you guys more, okay? All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Did you actually enjoy this video? How do you think you're gonna do when it comes to recording inside of Logic? Guys, I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can. I really wanna try to bring you guys two videos a week. That's my goal, but if not, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video at least once a week, showing you how to do something new inside of Logic Pro X. So you definitely wanna check out the Logic Pro X playlist that I'm gonna be having for you guys so you can see how to go ahead and do this, okay? This video series is gonna be for 
beginners, people who are just getting started inside of Logic and they just wanna know how to record. You wanna do voiceovers, you wanna record music, you wanna do all these things, but you don't really know what to do or how to work the software and navigate through it, I'm gonna show you that. So hit that subscribe button, definitely hit that notification bell, and stay tuned for more because I definitely got more videos. As always, stay tuned for the next video.